Hi, Wes Scott from Kane and Scott. Today we're going to talk about I failed the means test. Now what? Part two. You know, just because, so as part of the bankruptcy reform bill um, that passed in 2005, uh, Congress sort of artificially installed this means test, which is a mixture of real numbers, fake numbers, state numbers, um, that get used to deduct from your income certain expenses. And if you fail the means test, and by that we mean if you show positive income, um, there actually is a back door to this. Um, and that is what we call special circumstances. You may have special circumstances that are very unusual, uh, but really only relate just to you. Um, and one of those examples would be an extraordinary um, medical expense uh, uh, debt. Or maybe you lost your job. You know, maybe you fail the means test, but you just got terminated. You know, it's like you have no income. Uh, well, that would be a special circumstance. So just because you fail the means test does not mean that you are not able to do a Chapter 7. Uh, if you have special circumstances, um, the U.S. Trustee's Office would still see it as a presumption of abuse, but that presumption of abuse can be overcome by showing you have special circumstances that uh, warrant you uh, to still be able to file a Chapter 7 when the time is right when you're ready to get your life back. Reach out to Kane and Scott. You're going to be so thankful you did.